If you're looking for a slice of the action, this is the place to be. It's really, it's really cool. I, I really like shopping here because it's, um, it's clean and it feels, you know, right. Well, if you didn't have a food safety program, I wouldn't be shopping here. If you, if you read all that stuff about diseases and that, that's, you know... It's got to be fresh. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't happen by accident. We have a food safety program in place called the Five Steps to Food Safety. And you're about to become part of it. Here is the Five Steps promise. To sell only clean, safe and hygienic food to ensure that product is received from warranted suppliers only, to ensure that all staff understand and implement the appropriate codes of practice, to monitor and record the effectiveness of the system, to take all reasonable steps to ensure that the five steps to food safety program is implemented at all times. During this program, we'll be introducing you to the five step system. We'll show you how the system works and we'll explore some of the areas that you'll be working with in depth. Cleaning, washing up and basic housekeeping are all covered by the system. Simply follow the five steps. You'll be shown how to use the cleaning products and you can always refresh your memory by following these charts and the five steps. There's a video about cleaning products that you'll be watching after this. I'd like to know there are systems in place. This is A1. One, two, three, four, five. You'll find posters like this in all areas of your department. These are the codes of practice or rules for safe food handling and following them is your responsibility. Each process has five steps attached to it so they're easy to remember. Food safety is not only about preventing problems arising, it is also about keeping up our standards of quality. Much of food safety is common sense and simply having pride in your work. I've only got time to shop one a week. No mess, no fuss. It's got to be good quality. The food's got to last at least a week without going off. That's a good point too. Food can often be put at risk. Foreign objects can fall into containers or into food. If they're stored badly, chemical contamination can occur from cleaning products, poisons and items that should not be in the area. However, the greatest risk comes from microorganisms, or bugs. These are invisible to the naked eye, but allow them to get onto food and the consequences can be disastrous. Bugs are found on raw foods, contaminated surfaces, and also on our bodies, hair, cuts, pimples, and inside our stomach. Some of these bugs can cause food spoilage, which causes a loss of trust, a loss of customers, and a loss of profit. Bacteria need time, temperature, food and moisture to grow. This is why cleaning, stock rotation and refrigeration are so important. It is a frightening fact that these bugs can double their numbers every 20 minutes given the right conditions. One way to control this bacterial growth is temperature monitoring. This is where all the product comes into the store to make sure that it is safe at this point, the store person will check it against these five points. Only if it complies will it be accepted. This is a very important step in what we call the cold chain. Trying to keep food cold from production to sale is no mean feat, and you'll be playing a major part in this. From here, it will be delivered to your department, and if it is a food that needs to be kept cold, it must go straight into the chiller. There are five steps here too. One, keep the door closed unless entering or leaving the chiller. This will keep product cold. Two, air circulation should be maintained by keeping product clear of the walls and fittings. Product must be kept on the shelves. Three, raw and cooked foods are to be kept in clearly separated areas. In no circumstances should raw food be above cooked. This is to stop raw food juices drinking onto cooked foods. Four, date and time coding must be written on products and credits must be clearly marked so that product can be properly rotated. Five, product must be protected against contamination. The five steps cover all of the food processing that you may be involved in. 
Well, there's no room for errors in my profession. One slip in standards could kill someone. I expect the same from supermarkets. If I get sick, I could be off work for weeks. Yeah, well, you know, obviously it's got to look fresh and clean. But I've heard that, like, chicken's a bit of a worry. Like, you've got to, you've got to cook it properly. Isn't that right? Raw foods can easily contaminate cooked foods. That's why we keep the processing of raw food separate. Let's look at chicken preparation. This should be carried out in a separate area of the department. One, put on your disposable blue apron and gloves. Two, take the chicken from the chiller. Check the product visually and check the dates. Three, tray up or skewer the chicken. Keep the processing below 20 minutes. Four, place the chickens back in the chiller or immediately in the oven. Five, clean and sanitize the area that you've been working in. Remove and discard your apron and gloves. Temperature is vital too in the cooking process, as cooking to a high enough temperature will kill bacteria. Let's take a look. Visually check the chickens. Load the chickens into the preheated oven. Close the door and then clean and sanitize the door handle. Clean and sanitize the probe and check temperature of the cooked chicken. The temperature must be over 85 degrees C. Remove the chickens from the oven. Drain any fat. Wrap immediately and time code. For example, these chickens were taken out of the oven at 9 o'clock. Place in the case immediately. And there are also five steps for the display cabinet. Make sure that you read these. Oh, I really hate it when they when they touch their faces and their ha hair and stuff, and bare hands. Ugh. Well, I mean, if everyone had hair like mine, they wouldn't need to tie it up, would they? So we have five steps here too. Keep the doors closed as much as possible to keep the cold air in and insects out. Handle the product either with the bag inside out or with tongs that have been stored in the case. Or if you're loading the case, use disposable gloves to avoid contamination. Check the product temperature twice daily. This should be under four degrees C. Keep raw and cooked food separate and use separate utensils for each to avoid contamination. Ensure that garnishes are thoroughly clean and sanitized and avoid foods coming into direct contact with the garnishes or decoration. Well, that's the main areas of your work covered. Remember that you will find these five steps posters in your area of work. Following them is your responsibility. If you don't understand anything, just ask your supervisor. With regard to your own personal hygiene, these are the vital points to remember. Always wash your hands thoroughly before handling food or after getting them dirty by taking a break, touching your face or hair, touching rubbish or raw foods, or going to the toilet. You should also use the hand sanitizer every time you enter your department. Your hair must be tied back if it's long, and of course, you must wear a hat. If possible, you should get changed into your uniform at work. Otherwise, you must take care that your uniform is clean when you start. With regard to jewellery and your hands, please keep your nails short and only a wedding ring is acceptable. And please, no nail polish. The idea is to look and feel like a food handler. Make sure as well that your apron is kept clean. Wash it in hot water. Use a deodorant and make sure that you shower daily. If you have a cut finger, only use a blue coloured plaster and make sure to wear a glove or finger protector to cover it. If you have a stomach upset or other illness that may put food at risk, please let your supervisor know. So let's recap. The program is called the Five Steps to Food Safety. You're responsible to make sure that it works. Your responsibilities are to keep yourself and your area clean. Handle food safely. Only work with clean and sanitized equipment. Ensure the temperatures are correct and follow the five steps. If you're aware of anything that you feel may be putting food at risk, you must report this to your supervisor. You'll find the five steps posters throughout your area of work. It is your responsibility to understand and follow these. If you are in any doubt, there are three things that you should do. One, check the five steps poster. Two, ask your supervisor. Or three, check the manual.
And that way, we'll live up to our customers' expectations and the five steps policy. Food safety? I haven't got time for that. That's not my concern. That's yours. Say to the grandchildren, you can't beat good old-fashioned elbow grease. I like to see discipline in any operation. Without discipline, quality can't be expected, can it?